So you went fancy and bought the top of the line Radeon lights for your new tank. But you're also new to the hobby and feel overwhelmed about exactly how to program them correctly. You'll need the right spectrum for coral growth while maintaining visual appeal. You'll need the right photo period to give your corals enough time to photosynthesize. And you'll need the perfect amount of PAR because too little will stunt coral growth while too much can actually kill your coral. I'm Matthew, your BRS beginner guru. Stick around and we'll show you two easy ways to properly tune your Radeon lights. The first way to program your Radeon lights is by using the presets. As of September 2022, there are four Coral Lab presets available. AB+, PHX14, LPS slash soft, and Radiant Color. My personal recommendation would be to go with the AB Plus schedule because it is the most used and has the longest proven track record of successfully growing corals. Basically, the UV, violet, royal, and blue diodes are cranked up to 100%, while the red, green, and whites are tuned down to 24%. So click AB Plus and then activate. If you look at the bottom where it says schedule, you will see that it's set to 50%. You can either raise or lower that number to increase or decrease the overall intensity while keeping the individual diodes in the same ratio across the board. A few quick points about the AB plus setting. It looks blue. It'll make the fluorescence in your fish and in your colors pop, but not everyone likes such a highly blue setting, myself included. I'm using this Ecotech Radeon XR15 Pro Generation 6 on an innovative marine 40 gallon all-in-one system. The depth of the tank is almost 19 inches and the fixture itself is eight and a half inches off the water surface using the RMS mount. I took nine PAR readings on the default AB plus schedule, which runs at a 50% intensity across the board. Here's what I got. At the bottom, 75 PAR in the corners with 65 in the middle. Halfway up the tank, 100 PAR at the edges and 70 in the middle. And just below the water surface, 50 PAR at the edges with 150 in the center directly below the fixture. The default setting is already perfectly programmed for softies and large polypstony corals. But if you need more light, here are the PAR readings when you turn up the AB Plus schedule to 100% intensity. At the bottom, 140 in the corners and 95 in the center. Halfway up the tank is 180 in the corners with 145 in the middle. And just below the water surface, 92 PAR in the corners and 280 PAR just under the fixture. Most beginners don't need anything more than the default AB Plus setting. But if for some reason you do need more light, then I'd recommend using a PAR meter to find that right intensity between 50% and 100%. Okay, so the spectrum and the PAR are set almost perfectly for us with the default AB Plus setting, but I would bet that the overall schedule won't work for most of us. I mean, you'll be able to see a really blue tank in the morning before you leave for work, but the lights will be off by the time you get home. Well, the easiest way to adjust the schedule is by clicking on the lighting tab from the dashboard, then adjusting the sun and the moon sliders. Let's say you really wanna see your tank alive from 5 p.m to 9 p.m. in the evening. The easiest way to do that while keeping the overall lighting schedule the same is to drag the sun ahead six hours from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. and do the same with the moon from 3.15 p.m. to 9.15 p.m. Switching your times to later in the day does mean you won't be able to see your lights on in the morning, but you'll have ample viewing time in the evening. But what if you're like me and you work from home and you wanna be able to look over at your tank all day? Can you just drag out your entire schedule from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. I would definitely advise against that. The overall AB Plus setting has its highest output from 7.54 a.m. to 2.09 p.m. or just over six hours. But if you elongate the day until 9 p.m., now you have the highest intensity output from 8.31 a.m. until 7.08 p.m. or over 10 and a half hours. Those additional four and a half hours of high intensity lighting will be way too much for your corals and could actually kill them. Not only that, but that additional four and a half hours of high intensity lighting is also gonna fuel your nuisance algae growth. So then what are your options for a longer day without too much light? Start with the AB Plus default template. Choose your sunrise and sunset time that you prefer. For me, that's 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. The key here is to maintain a similar length high intensity light period. 
which at default is six hours in length. When I extend the length of my day to 8 p.m., my high intensity photo period is now 8.36 to 6.20 p.m. or almost 10 hours. So to keep this new schedule similar to the original schedule, I need to shave four hours off that high intensity lighting period. The easiest way to do that is to take two hours off of each side. So I'm going to click on the 8.36 time and change it to 10.36 a.m. Next, I'll change the 6.20 time to 4.20 p.m. Now my intense photo period is from 10.36 to 4.20, or just under six hours. You could probably stop there and call it good, but I'm concerned that the extended ramp up time in the morning and ramp down time in the evening will provide too much light. So I'm gonna make a couple more adjustments. Right now, the initial ramp time is from 7 a.m. until 7.47 a.m., or approximately 45 minutes. So going 45 minutes backwards from our full intensity at 10.36 a.m., I'm changing the 7.47 time to 9.50 a.m. And I'll do the opposite with our 7.09 p.m. ramp time and move that to 5.05 p.m. Just look at the shape difference between the default AB Plus preset and our adapted schedule. We changed absolutely nothing in the spectrum and intensity, but we adjusted the photo period to give our tank a much longer day while preserving and not overdoing that intense photo period. But what if you just don't like your tank that blue? Well, let me show you the second method for tuning your Radeon lights. The first step is to do everything we just did in method one. Now comes the fun part, changing the color temperature. One quick caveat here, we're about to change the ratio of the diodes based on overall color temperature. The AB Plus preset is a proven coral growth spectrum that happens to be really blue. By changing the color temperature, the Kelvin, we are changing the ratio of the colored diodes, which will have some effect on PAR and coral growth. I can't tell you exactly what that effect will be, so just be aware. The minimum Kelvin for these lights is 5,000 and the maximum is 20,000. Basically 5,000 has no blues while 20,000 is entirely blues with nothing else. Let's take a peek at what the tank looks like with four different temperature settings starting at 7,500 K. A very warm daylight look, low in blues and heavy in green, red, and white. Next up is 10,000 K. It raises the blues and lowers the red, green, and white. It starts to bring out the fluorescent colors in the coral, but not too much. Our third choice is 12,500 Kelvin, pretty close to my favorite actually. This is a pretty even-handed blend between the blues, whites, reds, and greens. Lastly is 15,000 Kelvin, which is inching closer to the AB+, but still less blue. Whichever look suits you best, it's really easy to change the schedule. At 7 a.m., nothing changes. Your first point, which for us is 9.50 a.m., merely change the Kelvin to your desire warmth. We're gonna set ours to 10,000 K. Then just go through each point and do the same. That's it. You've kept the schedule exactly the same while changing its overall look. Maybe you have a smaller tank than this, something that an AI Prime 16 HD is better suited for. Can you do the same thing with that light? Absolutely. Click here and we'll show you how. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching. Happy reefing. Be well. We'll see you next time.